friends, this video begins about seven months ago when I first had to arrive back here at the States after my wife and our son went ahead of me because of his medical issues and all of that. Well, she got our house set up the way that she wanted to, which is totally fine and gave her the freedom to do that. But that meant that when I finally got here, there were things that were overlooked that I would have considered a high priority, such as my ability to play video games in bed, since that is the place that I enjoy playing video games the most. I'm not a super competitive gamer. I like the single player experiences, so I like to do it when I'm most comfortable, and that's typically in bed next to my wife. However, we only ended up getting a single TV, as you can see, which is pretty normal, but doesn't have picture in picture, doesn't have the ability for us to watch two different things at the same time. And my free time, limited as it is, typically coincides with my wife's desire to watch TV. And so for the last seven months, I have tried to find ways to play video games during my time while also not compromising on her ability to also relax. And that has typically led to her and I just watching TV together, but not anymore. No, my friends, this is version 3.0 of Brett Gaming in Bed, what I will now call the ultimate bed gaming experience. It is finally here. I have achieved everything that I've wanted with this setup right here. It might not look like much. This might just look like a monitor. This might just look like a PlayStation 4 setup, but it is also a Nintendo Switch setup, a gaming PC setup, and lastly, to the disappointment of I'm sure many of you, a Stadia setup which we'll talk about why I put Stadia in this in just a second after we talk about today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Four Sigmatic. My friends, this is the only coffee I allow in my household. This is Four Sigmatic's mushroom ground coffee. I love it so much. This one particularly here is the one I drink every single day. It's coffee with lion's mane mushrooms. And there's tons of research out there and you can look at the links in the video description that describe the cognitive benefits of culinary consumption of mushrooms, not those types of mushrooms, things like the lion's mane mushroom that can actually help you with your brain cognitive performance throughout the day or even with neurological repair there's been some evidence done on that i'm not saying that four sigmatic does that i'm just saying mushrooms in general are a good thing to consume and four sigmatic has coffee that lines up to that and if you use the link in the video description use coupon code ufd tech you could save 10 percent off of your order with them but they don't just have coffee they have teas they have different mushroom blends they have mushroom powder that you can put into various different things and you can just experience the great beneficial world that is consuming mushrooms it's great stuff, friends. So check them out, use coupon code UFD Tech, save 10% off of your forced order, only coffee I ever drink. So this is the final form of what I've created. I mentioned that I've done two things in the past. I'm gonna detail those to you now. I filmed that yesterday. First was I actually bought this PlayStation VR right in here because the majority of games that I actually wanna play right now happen to be PlayStation exclusives. So we're talking like Persona 5 Royal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Death Stranding, and a few others. So those are the ones I wanted to play, so I got the PSVR so that I could play in bed while wearing the VR headset and not disturb my wife or the programs that she's watching. However, there came the issue that the PSVR sucks. It's atrocious, the resolution is terrible for playing regular games, it's only good for VR, and even then, it's awful, so the PSVR didn't work. Step two was to get me my own TV, and unfortunately, that didn't work either. So this TV that you guys see in our hot news videos that's right behind me actually used to be right next to my bedside. But the issue that I found with having a TV by my bedside was that either if I wanted to lay down like this, I'd have to have my body or my neck turn, which wasn't great for me, or I'd have to sit like this, which kind of defeats the point of being in bed and also spending time with my wife where I can rub her back or stroke her hair while I'm in the middle points of video games. So a TV, didn't end up working for me and I had to move that out. So now we're here with the portable gaming setup. This is actually the creation of several different pieces that one, I had lying around the house and two, a monitor which just came out. This is the ultimate portable gaming monitor that we did a video on recently, the Asus XG17. You can check it out right up there. It's 1080p IPS, 240 hertz, has basically everything you would need for a portable gaming monitor. But it had one thing that got me thinking. It had one feature that I briefly glossed over in our video about it, and that is this right here, a thread mount on the back for me to screw something into it. And Asus actually sells a version of this monitor with a tripod head. However, 
I decided I'm going to take this a step further. I'm going to put it on a tripod ball head, which I will then attach to a microphone boom arm, which is then screwed in to my nightstand right over here with a microphone desktop mount. So the desktop mount is screwed in right here to the microphone boom arm, which then delivers everything that I need over here with a quick release plate on the monitor just in case I need to take it off for whatever reason. So that's the foundation of this setup is the actual being able to have the monitor. But there were some key limitations to consider. Number one, as I mentioned, I had a PSVR because most of the games that I wanted to play right now happen to be PlayStation exclusives. As you can see here, Final Fantasy VII, Persona 5 Royal, those are high up on the list of the games that I need to get to right now. But then also, I have Switch games that I want to be playing. I am in the middle of Fire Emblem Three Houses and I want to be able to play that in bed as well. But also, I wouldn't be a PC tech channel if I didn't also have a gaming PC and a content creation setup right here as well. So I needed that. And then lastly, I needed to be able to just unwind and relax and watch my own programs if I wanted to, or as is the case of sometimes I like to do, I just want to load up Stadia and see if it's gotten any better and play it a little bit. And that is where I have a Chromecast. But as you can see, this portable monitor only has a single HDMI in. So I got around that with this little guy. This is the Rocketfish four port HDMI switch. I picked this up at Best Buy, I think like five months ago. It allows me to have multiple inputs for everything that I'm trying to do. So I can have all of the gaming experiences that I want, including Xbox, since I do have a gaming PC here and I can just use the Xbox Game Pass or I can just get the games that are on the Windows Store with Xbox's Play Anywhere program. I now have all of the major consoles at my disposal with the four HDMI switch. PlayStation for Xbox and PC, Nintendo Switch, and Google Stadia. Everything is mine. And also, since it's a Chromecast, I can also do GeForce Now, which is exciting. But that led to another issue. If I'm having four different gaming experiences, how do I get audio for them? Well, that's also where I picked something up at Best Buy about five months ago while trying to figure out this whole thing. And that is this little setup right here. This is the Sony, what are you called? TMR RF 400. It's a little wireless headphone transmitter and receiver base station that I can just put on my head like so. And thankfully, as you can see right here, the portable monitor has a three and a half millimeter jack. So I send the three and a half millimeter jack out from the monitor, down the boom arm, down behind my nightstand and into this transmitter, which then goes to these headphones. So right now I am hearing the Nintendo Switch. And now I'm hearing the PlayStation home screen menu. Now I'm hearing nothing because it's Minecraft. So let me go ahead and put on some music. There we go. Now I'm hearing my PC music, which is too loud. And then lastly, I have Stadia. But genius of these headphones is that if my wife is watching something on the TV, I can just go ahead and go over to my Netflix app on my phone, cast to my TV. My Stadia disconnects, and now I can watch whatever program I want, whether it be Netflix, whether it be Hulu, Disney Plus, whatever. This is the ultimate bed gaming experience. I cannot be denied. So I have everything set up. I have the audio solution. I have the video solution. I have the gaming parts that I need. And now uh, the main reason it's on the boom arm is so that I can watch it in front of me, swing it away when I'm done, and then bam, off it goes. I'm done for the rest of the night. And it doesn't clutter up the room. Actually, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And it's very easy to deal with. I'm so freaking excited about this. I cannot tell you how long I've been putting off gaming because I haven't had a comfortable way to do it in my downtime, which I know it may sound a little ridiculous, but I prioritize spending time with my wife over actually getting my game time in. And if we're watching something together and I just get to sit here with her and hold her and we'll rub her back or stroke her hair, that's what I prefer to do. So on non-intimate nights, this is gonna be my go-to gaming experience and I can now do whatever the heck I want. And she obviously will get to see what I'm doing, but doesn't have to actually be disturbed by it since I have my headphones on right here. There are 
a key few challenges that I have to address going forward. Number one is the peripheral status. So as you can see, my nightstand is not huge and my wife wants to have a cohesive theme in our bedroom as far as like the type of furniture and the way it looks. So either number one, I'm gonna have to get a wider nightstand to fit the Switch controller, the Stadia controller, the PlayStation 4 controller, the keyboard, ah, and the mouse and the headphone set and my charging stand and the four port switch and my Kindle, which I used to fall asleep at night, or I'm gonna have to find a way to get like docked chargers for multiple devices. One that can use the micro USB on this, one that can do the type C on the Stadia. I might end up swapping out for a pro controller on the switch. And then probably more than likely what I'm gonna end up doing is not that. Not that, don't look at my crotch. And then more than likely, what I'm gonna end up doing is just sticking the keyboard and mouse in the drawer right over here and then being done with it for the rest of the night. So that's it. That's, this is my ultimate gaming setup. This is how I want to play video games. I like relaxing in bed and not like this. I can then just come over, bring this in front of me, adjust it however I want, decide what am I playing tonight? Am I gonna be finishing Final Fantasy VII? Oh, that's right, of course I am. Just take a second to load, bam, switch over to it, start it up, and then I'm good to go. And now I can play more video games. I'm so excited for this. I think also for PC gaming, I should probably look into something like the Corsair Lapdog or some other uh, keyboard and mouse solution so that I can enjoy more games like that. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to pair my PlayStation 4 controller to the PC in order to play more controller-based games, but I, have achieved it. I have achieved the ultimate husband setup. This is the best thing. I'm like, I, I don't know if I'm coming across as excited as I actually feel, but I haven't been able to play video games to my leisure in the last seven months. And now it's finally here. It's all here. I'm so freaking excited. So I'm gonna be done filming this video. I'm, I just, I love it. And I love you guys for watching this. Don't forget about today's video sponsor, which helped make all of this possible and affordable. Don't forget to check out Four Sigmatic. Go to the link in the video description, use coupon code UFD Tech to save 10%. I love this coffee so much. I'm so glad they're our sponsor. It was good, freaking good coffee. And that's gonna be it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more types of these videos where I try to solve my daily life first world problems with more uh, random crap. Obviously, I try to keep this as simplistic as possible. I'll leave links in the video description for everything that you can pick up and you can just let me know uh, what you think of these types of videos. Yes. So I'm Brett with the UFD Tech channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.